Hi everyone, welcome back to Look at Love Volume Two, Episode Five. So there was another major incident between Ichitaro and Artagawa Neo. The fact that she had to use the restroom. So both of them had been stranded on this train for hours because a major storm caused. A landslide and also damaged the power lines that powered this train. And there was a long line in front of the restroom, and Artagawa Neo could not wait. So it became a big emergency, and Ichitaro had to help her go to the restroom. So even though that's over. Artagawa Neo is not happy. The fact that, well, I sacrificed my virginity just for this, and now I can't show myself to my grandmother anymore. So I wonder what Ishitaro is going to do to help calm Artagawa Neo down. So we know that he likes this girl and wants to go out with her. But the opposite is not true. So first, she gives a sneeze in response to Ichitaro's "I'll take responsibility about what happened." So first, there you go. A silence that is suddenly broken up by a sneeze. <laughs> Um. Well, it's fine. So, it's gotten pretty cold, isn't it? And it's probably due to the torrent. Oh, so the torrential downpour, and outside the window, I'm starting to feel a chill too. And adding to that, the fact that she's not wearing underwear. Hey, um. So. You should use this. I hold my blanket. The conductor just had given us. Ah,、uh, well, I may as well use it too. Wait, huh? Okay, only now do I realize. So, the conductor only gave. Him one blanket. Wait. But if he wanted another blanket, he could just go to the conductor, who's located in the last train car. But I'm guessing that there's not enough blankets for all the passengers on board to have their own. So. They're stuck with one. Ah,、uh, well, I'll be fine. So come on. So you take this one, and I hold it out to her again, and she doesn't take it. So instead, she gives me the same oddly timid glance as before. Why? Oh, okay. So, I'll be warm, but what about you? So, if you're not going to have a blanket, then you'll be cold, and it makes Artagawa feel bad. Well, like I said before, so I'll be fine. Come on. But still, so. It seems like she's set on not using it all by herself, and the more she looks like that, well, the less I want to go up and ask the conductor for another blanket. Um. Well, damn. So, her expression is making it hard for me to. Refuse the offer. Okay, right. Come over here, 
and I call her over as boldly and brazenly as I dare to. So despite Artika being shy, it looks like she wants to share the same blanket with Ichitaro. So Artagawa nods meekly and quickly hops over to my side of the booth. Well, this is an unexpected development. And until just a moment ago, she was so resistant. Hmm, so is this because um, I saw her in the wrong places? And if that's the case, then... Okay, so we'll both use it, okay? And I tried to make myself sound so commanding as possible, but underneath, I'm fiercely suppressing my nerves. The fact that she's now really close to him, and it's making Ichitaro feel more uncomfortable. <laughs> Okay, come on, so come a little closer. So her shoulders and hips press against mine, and the warmth and weight of her body seeps through my clothes, and I feel like I'm going to burn up. Okay, so put this blanket over you. Okay. And we drape the blanket over our shoulders, covering us both. And here you see both of them under one blanket. And I apologize about the little box that I had to put to cover up. And still, Artagawa is not fully comfortable being like this. So, as expected, the conversation is almost impossible. So, uh, are you cold? No, I'm warm. Well, rather than being warm, I would say this is pretty um, hot. So, I can't calm my beating heart at all. Pressed up against a girl like this, especially one... Okay, so I won't mention the rest. So, unfortunately, I have to cut out the next part. So, our main character, Ishitaro, still feels upset about the damage he caused to... Artagawa Neo during the restroom instant and he's still adamant about well I'll take responsibility for my actions and the result is a full on H scene so he wants to be her future husband and we know by now that he loves this girl and wants this girl to be his girlfriend, but the other way around is not true. So let's see how she responds after all this. So hold on for a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the H scene and there were many other things that worked in favor towards them. So one, there were no other passengers in the same train car as them, so they are all by the conductor at the last train car. And also, the rain outside has started to lighten up, so it means that the storm 
is about to pass. So anyways, right now, it looks like Ishitaro and Artagawa and Neo are still close together under one blanket. And Ishitaro's like, um, I'm sorry. I start to apologize, but stop myself. And that's not what I should be doing right now. So he should be comforting Artikao Neo. Well, I guess we are kind of doing things out of order. So we rushed too quickly. And I tried to suppress the thudding of my heart in my chest and gently explain what I mean. So just like I promised, so what is it? Uh, let's, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. I say it almost as if it's a matter of fact. But I know that even if it is obvious, I have to properly ask her no matter how late it is. And Artagawa tenses up and I wait nervously for her answer. So how will she respond? And finally, she speaks. Wait, so no? What, no? What? So this is a big setback. Wait, so no, no on girlfriend? What? So despite them being in the mood, Artika and Neo declines to be boyfriend and girlfriend. And I wonder why. So it was not the response that Ichitaro was hoping for. But anyways, so I guess this is what they call the calm after the storm. But as clear as they, the sky is, my feelings are clouded with worry. So why would she say no? There you go. So why did she react like that? And not long after we finished, the lights finally come back on. So the overhead electrical wires and the landslide have been cleared up and the train started moving again for the first time in hours. And when we reached our destination, we went our separate ways. And that no was the last thing she said to me. Hmm. So I thought she gave her body to me because she expected me to take responsibility afterwards. And then why did she let me do all those kinds of things to her? And in the end, still said no. So every time I ponder the answer, I understand less and less. Well, what does she even think about what happened yesterday? And still thinking it over, I get on the train. And we still see Artagawa. So Artagawa is sitting right there. And the instant our eyes meet, she turns beet red and stares at the floor as if trying to avoid me. And occasionally she glances at me suspiciously. Hmm, so I wonder how he feels and what he might do next. 
Um, so no response. And the moment I saw her, yesterday's events flashed through my head and now I'm both full of nerves and completely confused. And even though she turned me down, she waited for me. So wait, that makes no sense. And if she's happy to wait for me like this, why did she respond like that? Hmm, so why would she sit across from me despite her denial or her decline? And my head is a mess. And so what happened? So in the end, I move into the next car and it's like I'm running away. And I just don't understand. Well, I don't understand her feelings. And I don't know how to act around her. And at school, she acts just like she always does, being quiet, apart from everyone else. So as usual, we don't talk to each other at all in class, and everything seems completely normal, except for... Nah, nah, how are you? So I think the friend can sense that something isn't right. Yes? Hmm, so I noticed that Artagawa-san looks kind of depressed. And here we see her. So yeah, he's right. She's been looking particularly sour all day. And it's been setting everyone in the class on edge. So wait, I think she might be angry and she might just jump up and attack without notice. But of course, I notice her mood right away, but that's not all. And she notices Ishitaro looking at her. Um. Oh, so there it is again. And every time our eyes meet, her frown is suddenly replaced with a wide eye look of embarrassment and she quickly turns away. So... Well, who knows? But the fact is that she's looking at Ijitaro, so... But who cares? So, she looks hot today, and that's all that matters. Mm. Well, he is not wrong. There is something about her expression that's striking. Well, this all just makes me more confused. And I can't see in her eyes that she's definitely thinking about yesterday. And that's probably why she won't look at me in the eye. And yet, she turned me down. Even though she said she would let me take responsibility. And I just don't know what to do. So, everything does not match or make sense. But anyways, going to work. So when I'm finished with work, I leave with Kojika. So as usual, you are amazing. Huh? Why? So despite being stranded on the train yesterday, you still managed to come to work all happy, able to do your tasks. Oh yeah, that. So I told her about being stuck on the train while we were working. And she seen it on the news and remembered that I take that line. So it seems like she was really worried about me. 
Ga. So I thought for a second that she was talking about what happened with Artgawa. And I wonder if it is good for him to share this problem with Kojika Hiwa because this seems more personal than being stranded on the train. Well, a little bit, but if I took the day off, it'll cause problems for you and the manager, and that would make me feel even worse. But I'm sure the manager won't mind because, well, I know that you've went through really hard times. So I'll let you take a day off and let you re recover. So I want you to be in good shape before you return to work. So, so really hmm. She is glaring at me again. And for some reason, I don't really mind. In fact, I'm quite happy about it. So at least she's concerned about me. And I had a feeling she would say something like that. So in that case, then I'm curious to hear her opinion. So I'll try to ask her. So let's say hypothetically there is a girl who really likes me and says she wants to be with me. <gasps> yes? And imagine that I told her that I'll do whatever I can to make her happy. <gasps> so continue. But then she suddenly says that it was not what she wanted. So what should I do? So I don't think she means it if she says it like that. Wait, really? I sound unconvinced, but I can't feel the confidence in her reply. And when she says it so strongly, I can't help but believe in her. Hmm, so how should I put it? So Kojika clenches her fist as she continues. Um, so I think, um, and she's at a loss. Okay, I see. So it is hard for me to answer and, um, I don't know what to... So it's too embarrassing for me to figure out something, but maybe you should take on the lead role at trying to win her. Hmm. Well, I hadn't thought about it, about it from a girl perspective like that before. Well, I guess I said too much. No, it's fine. So anything helps. So thanks, Kojika. Wait, I... So I feel bad for giving you unhelpful tips. Well, I feel like I understand a little bit better now. Okay then. Yep, that's why. Wait, wait, wait. So, don't rub it in anymore because it's making it 
more embarrassing for me. So I'll have to try even harder with her from tomorrow. Wait. So what? Um, nothing, nothing. Huh? Okay. So have a nice night, Kojika. So what else? There you go. What else? Oh yeah, so is that okay? So no problem? Okay. Um, anyways, so have a good night. So, I hope to hear from you soon. Wait, what do you mean? So, are you sure you don't need me to do a shift tomorrow? So, I guess this would be okay, so let's just keep it at as is because it'll be much more complicated if we were to change our schedule now. I part ways with Kojika and head to the station. Well, I don't have the faintest clue what she was talking about just before I left her. But still, I feel like she taught me something valuable. So what is it? Of course, girls have their own expectation of guys. And I obviously did not quite meet Artagawa's expectation. <laughs> Which is why she declines to be his girlfriend. Of course, she responded like that. And in that case... Okay, I'll have to be a little more commanding with her. And that was you telling me to be more forward with you. To really woo you. Right, Artagawa? So we... Okay, I don't need to mention this. So how do I move forward than that? Or get more forward? Hmm. So what does she want? And once again, I'm in the dark as to what to do. Hmm. Well, I guess I could... I rack my brains as I pass through the ticket gates and head towards where I always stand on the platform and it's only then that I suddenly see an unexpected figure beyond the gates. So who? Okay, so it's none other than Artagawa and she too is surprised. I stop in my tracks. Hmm, so why is she here? That makes no sense. So why? Okay, so she should have been long gone on an earlier train. So does that mean that she waited for me? And it's just like when she wanted to thank me that time. So the incident where he carried her home because she was sick. So my heart thumps in my chest. Kojika's words creep 
to the front of my mind. Well, it's not that she's not happy about what happened. She just expects more. But she's too embarrassed to say so. And she still looks depressed. Hey, um, Aratakawa, I, um... And as soon as I go to call out to her, the train arrives. And when the doors open, she hurriedly rushes on as if she's running away. Hey, um, wait. Okay, so inside the train car, so by the time I've caught up with her, she's already quickly settled into a booth seat. And what's more, she keeps shooting glances at me with those wide, moist eyes. Hmm. So what does she want? And this is still confusing. And my heart races even faster. So she wants me to be more forward. Maybe. So this might work. Something romantic, but that also is more than another H moment. So what does he do? Okay, so instead of sitting across from her, I confidently sit right next to her. So he is one step closer to her and I'm sure that's an important step. So Artagawa instantly tenses up, but as always, she does not offer any objection. <laughs> so you want to sit next to me now? And despite that, she sounds defiant. Well, you look like you wanted it. Well, it sounds like Ishitaro's trying to come up with words. And it doesn't look obvious that she wants it from here. Okay, so come and sit a little closer to me. Okay then. I speak over her commandingly and she instantly shimmies her quivering body closer to me. And she still feels uncomfortable being like this. And there's no doubt about it now. So she was waiting for me, hoping to sit together with me like this. So we just have to keep doing things like this. So one step at a time. Okay, so we'll sit like this from now on. Okay then. And just like a couple should. Okay, so it looks like we're in some memory, once again, with the grandmother. So I like how the grandmother's voice is quite warm and inviting. Especially for Neo.
勇気を振り絞ってしてくれるんだよだからねそういう時は拒んじゃダメだよお前が大事にしているものはこの人になら。って思う人のために大事にするものなんだからね私の大事なこの人になら彼になら勇気を振り絞ってしてくれることならだって彼は責任Okay, so it is now the next day on the train, and it looks like Ijitaro is sitting next to her. So, that conversation between the grandmother and Arkawa Nio it was quite inspiring. And the grandmother did have a point about well, you want to make sure this man truly loves you, and if he does, He'll do everything he can to win you and demonstrate that he's the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend for you. And it kind of looks like Artagawa has feelings for Ijitaro. And it's that, well, I want to be sure per my grandmother's words. So let's see how it goes and what Ijitaro will do to woo her in. Um, good morning, Artagawa. Um, okay. So I guess I'm sitting next to you again. And now we can see the side profile of this girl. So, you do this even though I turned you down yesterday. So, there is this band I am really into right now. Okay, so he's changing the subject. So, cutting off her complaint before she can say it, I pull out my smartphone and earphones. So, I want you to listen to this new band. So basically, I want to share my music with you. So, do you want to listen to this together? Um. And despite the attitude she's been taking with me, saying that she doesn't want to be my girlfriend, she still hasn't refused me a single time. And. She is sitting in the same booth seat expectantly again, and although she's blushed and mumbled as I sat down, she did not stop me. And I have to believe that it's a sign that she wants things to move forward too. But there is probably still a lot I have to do before she'll accept me. As her boyfriend. And all I can do is do my best to keep creating moments like this. So I can't be put off by the way she talks to me. Well, sometimes, right, Kojika? But, anyways, it's time to. Put my plan into action and I call it. The How Far Do I Have to Go to Make Artagao Neo My Girlfriend project. So, my first mission is operation sharing earphones and listening to music with her. So, this will definitely be embarrassing. You wouldn't do this with someone unless you are pretty close. 
Well, okay. So maybe it's not that embarrassing, but I certainly never done it with anyone else. So how are you going to respond to this, Artagawa? Well, well, well. Her face glows red, and she casts her eyes downward. So you want to, right? So yes, even though you don't explicitly mention it. So she does want to listen to music with him. Okay, I'll do. Well, to be honest, I've always thought this looked fun, and I've always wanted to do it if I got a girlfriend. So, haven't you wanted to try it too? And I hope it's some music that she also enjoys. So, if he likes it and she hates it, then this is going to fail. So, so well, if you don't want to, then just say so. So, you can opt out at any time. Well, it looks like she wants it still. Okay, so I'll just pop this into your ear then. Um, okay. And taking her silence as a yes, I push the earphones into her blushing ears. And here we see Ichitaro plugging a earbud into Artagao Nio's ear. And it looks uncomfortable for her. She makes noises so surprisingly sinuous that my body twitches. Artagao tenses up even further, but of course, she does not resist. But it still looks uncomfortable for her. So I'm putting it in her and it's going all the way in. Oh, phew. So I'm sure she didn't think I was going to get excited just from doing this. Or I was sure I didn't think I would be excited. My fingers are shaking with the tension and I have to take a few good thrusts to finally force my way into her warm pink opening. And I hope he didn't hurt her ears. So they're so swollen that if you touch them, they hurt badly. So I'm sure the strange tickling sensation is making her squirm, yet she does not stop me. Okay then, so I'll put on one of their songs. And I hope the volume is set correctly and it's not something filled with lots of hate and... So how's the music? Do you like it? Okay, that's good. So she's actually responding to me normally. Well, kind of, except for that last word. So, darling. She called me that before, and just like then, it makes my heart leap. Well, damn. So even her ears are sexy. And this girl is really something. I'm completely entranced by her, looking at her face in a profile like this, it feels like my heart is going to burst out of my chest. Oh, this is cute. No, actually hot and attractive. So, I love her. And is it alright to assume that maybe she loves me too? Well, um... Hmm? So, you wanted this 
from the beginning, right? Her lips purse and she gives me a sharp Cylon glance. Uh, uh, okay? Huh? So, it looks like I'm still pretty far from a mission complete. Okay, so it looks like Ishitaro is going to report his progress at winning Arakawa Neo to Kojika Hiwa. So I'm going to leave that to the next episode. So it's obvious that Arakawa Neo has very high expectations for her boyfriend and her future husband. And even though the grandmother did give her really insightful tips, it looks like Arka Neo likes Ishitaro and it's just, hmm, is this the person who I want to be my boyfriend? And this is where Ishitaro really needs to step up his game to make the stand out. And I wonder what he'll do next. So I think this is where he's trying to get more ideas from Kojika Hiwa. But you have to know that Kojika Hiwa is able to approach anyone with a smile versus Artagawa Neo, who's shy and reserved. And it's hard for her to approach anyone and vice versa. So anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.